All right. Hello, welcome back to the second 10 minute talks. And today, uh, on this day, it's one year since I started posting on here. One year since I dropped out of university. So I thought this 10 minute talk, 10 minute topic, um, I want to talk about that and everything about that. So I don't have anything really here to, you know, no notes or anything. I've just got my journal because um, I've got some time to kill. So anyway, I'm going to set a time for 10 minutes and just going to start going. All right. Um, well, I, uh, yeah, I think I want to talk about kind of the core of it, like where it started, for those who don't know, and, um, and why I'm still doing this. Why do I... Why do I make videos on the internet? Why do I like put my face online and talk to a camera and post it? Yeah, I started with not knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, I kind of had a bit of an idea, but I wasn't convinced it was what I really wanted to study, what I want to do as a career. So I started with um, communications and media uh, with a journalism major, so basically journalism. And I <laughs> hated it so, um, and I knew it wasn't for me very quickly. Um, I think I knew that before I even went into it, to be honest. And yeah, so that didn't last long. I deferred after a semester and managed to go down south and work at a winery um, a few hours away from home and live away from home for six months while I was 18 um, and have like a gap semester, which was incredible. And then I did some travel and then went back and did business, uh, which I hated. I really disliked it. Um, I think there's plenty of reasons for why I didn't enjoy it and university as a whole, but it hasn't been for me. And yeah, I made a decision when I was first week of Sem 2 to just say fuck it. And I just pulled the plug. I just canceled my course online. And I was also scared to tell my parents about it. I didn't tell them for like two weeks that I actually stopped rocking up to uni and canceled. Basically the plan was, I really want to travel the year after, so now. Um, so I wanted to show the process. I thought people would find it interesting because not many people do it, cancel their course, um, but a lot of people I think want to from my experience. So I thought, hey, I'm just gonna show everything that happens to me. And I was interested in picking up filmmaking again and trying to start some sort of business. And uh, yeah, straight away we started by um, trying to sell clothes and that didn't go to plan. I wasted, I lost about three grand actually, straight away when I, when I canceled uni. Um, but 12 months later, we are here on the back end of that Europe trip we said we we're going to do with five and a half thousand people watching here on YouTube and then on TikTok and Instagram a combined 50k, um, which is so crazy. It, it's so funny saying that and like sitting here in Paris being able to say it's been a whole year, but we've done it. We're, I don't know, like, I don't know, it, it's maybe to some people it sounds small, sticking with something for just 12 months. But for me, it's been, yeah, the biggest test of my life the last 12 months, really. I haven't felt so many things <laughs> in 12 months. I haven't felt so good and then felt so bad within 12 months. Um, sometimes that being within days. Uh, I haven't, yeah, had this recognition ever in my life. I haven't, yeah, impacted people like I think I have now ever in my life. But... Yeah, look, I don't know, the, the reason why I want to do it is that that's a question I've asked myself a lot, especially when it got so frustrating and why I have this urge and to pick up the camera and why I, hard to describe, the way I feel about doing these videos, like the way I feel about feeling like I owe something to, to talking. Um, don't know if that's other people or just myself because yeah, I have a, a complicated brain. I don't, I, I guess I try and talk about it indirectly with what, everything I make, but I never really talk about it. Um, and I don't know what it is. I don't think it's anything bad and I don't think it's anything unique to me as well. You know, I said this in a post recently on Insta, like I'm not the center of the universe. <laughs> um, and yeah, probably an element of what I've been doing requires a bit of a narcissistic mindset to just keep going because I'm just fucking showing myself and talking about myself so much. Yeah, I've found, again, this is like a lot of people, but, and a bit of a champagne problem, but that doesn't mean it's not something that's been tricky. Um, I've found life hard, especially in the last 12 months. And uh, the thing I hated the most was to like, 
let people know that just made me feel so weak to let people know that I was finding things hard. I just, because uh, everyone, all my friends really knows me, the bubbly guy, like, funny, chatty, doesn't care, like, does whatever. Um, so it felt embarrassing to, like, actually share that. And I, like, I haven't really even, I don't really talk about that with my family, you know, like, I still don't really want to, um, to be honest. So, yeah, I guess I'm being vague, but I've just, uh, I've had my mental challenges uh, and faced them very alone and uh, indirectly shared about them on YouTube, basically, you know, as my way of just dealing with it, just filming and creating and talking. That's how I've dealt with it. Even if it's not talking about that directly, just talking, you know, whatever, what's happened during my week, you know, I feel like the start of this was all kind of a therapy session. This whole thing has been like, just me, just trying to breathe. Because I felt very alone. And I don't know exactly why. I feel like I felt more alone than being just you know, out of uni. Um, I felt different in ways that you can't see because I probably don't seem that different. But, and different isn't even the right word. So, yeah, I've felt some heavy things and I, uh, I've used these videos as just like, it almost feel, I almost feel like I didn't have a choice. I just had, this came out of me as a reason to just cope. And again, I'm not saying that I have, I'm not saying I have depression, anxiety, anything like that. I mean, I've had my anxious bouts, absolutely, but I'm not, I'm in a really good place. I just needed something more. And for me, that just had to be making videos. And there's a point there where it wasn't about people listening, it was just about me talking. That's all, I just needed to. And maybe that's kind of the core of why I'm doing all this shit. Well, I don't know. <laughs> because it just sometimes isn't that good. You know, it's hard and it just doesn't really make sense. I was studying really hard, I got a good ATAR a good school score, I was going to do physiotherapy, I couldn't decide, I could have gone into business through university, but there's just, yeah, I'm not trying to be overly dramatic, there's just something else I had to solve. I need, like, something else I had to feed or fix. <laughs> I don't know which one, maybe both, but, yeah, so this year, it hasn't just been me traveling, that's for sure. Although a lot of people joined when I did my London vlog at the start. Um, it hasn't just been me having side hustles or talking to the camera. Yeah, it's been all the things of me just sitting in my room alone, just happy to be there editing a video. You know, just happy to have that door closed and be alone and just edit and listen to myself talk back about the things that have been tricky in my life and let them be validated, you know not just say, well, you're from an upper middle class society, why are you having any problems? Like, that's not big enough of a problem, you know? We're getting a bit close to our 10 minutes here, but yeah, I'm trying to avoid just saying thank you for this video. I'm trying to like, I'm trying to go in. Um, and I guess the topic I'm going on is like, why I have been doing all the things I've been doing and maybe what purpose looks like. Maybe purpose doesn't look like this, um, fist in the air, smiling to make a change. Maybe it's something at times, not all the time, but at times that you just need to do for you as well as other people. Because a part of this now, which has been so great, is that I've realized it has been benefiting other people a lot. I love that, I love that so much. But the truth is, the reason I started really was just to, a purpose that was needed for me. So, yeah, I have no idea if that story can help anyone with their purpose or passion. I don't know. <laughs> um, but that is just a reminder to me. And again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just talking because I, I need this fix. And maybe two videos a week will be even better for me because I get to just talk more about everything. Um, and it feels also good to talk about that because I haven't really, haven't really dug there yet. Um, I know I'm being vague. I'm not trying to be. But, yeah.
I like talking about it because I, I know for a fact that there's so many people who feel so similar because I'm not at the centre of the world. There's people on here who will have the same things going on and I hope that that might be you and you found that relatable. So I will say some thanks. Thank you so much for being here for a year, whether you have been or not. Um, I, it's as maybe you get now, it's just, it's meant so much to me, like just being able to do this for a year. It's changed everything and it's given me something to lean on and it's got me really excited about the future. So yeah, that's the last bit of thank you. Thank you so much. I'm going to talk more in my Wednesday video about, you know, all this. I'll do a vlog version of one year. Um, but that topic is about something, um, passion, purpose, one year, my story. Um, and I hope that in some part it resonated with you. Uh, and if you have any more ideas for 10 minute topics, put them in the comments. I'll see you guys on Wednesday and I'll have another talk. Thank God on Sunday as well. So thank you.